Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you what's inside this disposable camera. I already know some of the things that are inside because um, it has a flash, so I know that there's got to be a, ca a capacitor to store enough charge for the flash to be bright enough. Um, also, there was a battery and there was a, um, a film from, for this disposable camera, but the but I, I got this disposable camera from for free from a shop a photograph photography shop that wanted to um, get r that were disposing of them because people give them in they get their um, the films taken out and they process the film but they throw away the camera so I asked for them for if they had any cameras that I could have and they did so they gave me them this is one of them so uh, in here is where um, they've come. They've taken out the battery, and they've taken out um, the and they've taken out the film. So I'm just going to peel off the stick. Is peeled off. Okay, so. This this scroll wheel would rotate the film, and then this button, you hold it down to charge up the capacitor, and then you press it to release, I believe. All right, so it says on here that the button on the front of the camera, you push it down, uh, you'd push it up to um, charge the flash, and then you wind and then you press the button at the top here and it would release the capacitor okay so next step they're just fastened together with um, clips and clasps so I'm gonna pry those open Okay, so the plastic case is off. Uh, this thing flew out. It's just the battery terminals. Um, right, we have a circuit board in here. Um, so this would charge up a capacitor. The capacitor's hidden behind the flash. There we go. Okay, circuit board's out. This is the capacitor. So it's three volts. Um, I think that it's a six farad, whole farad capacitor. It's pretty big. We have here inductors, uh, some diodes. These will just, you charge them up and um, so what it says, the, the inductors would take the 1.5 volt from the battery and then it will turn it into the um, the 3 volts required for the capacitor. Yeah, then the capacitor would charge up take a, a few minutes and then it will fire the flash okay actually something I possibly should have done before is take something metal and put that against the um, the ends of the capacitor so that I don't shock myself Ooh. there we go, the capacitor is fully discharged this is where the, the battery would be kept and then I'm guessing this is this. Um, you touch these contacts together in the push button, and uh, it charges the the circuit up, charges the capacitor up. Okay. Other things are that there is a lens in here. There is viewfinder for um, yeah, for where you would put your eyes. This is a neat mechanism. So when you spin the wheel, it. Uh, turns this gear and shows you which how many numbers of photos you've got left and then it also uh, pulls out the, f the film and wraps it around um, and makes it so that the correct amount of film is uh, the positioning of the film is right above the where the, the lens is and then when you press down the button it quickly fires the flash as well as opening the shutter button the shutter so guys, uh, the main reason that I, they asked for a bunch of these disposable cameras was because of the capacitor and this circuit right right here. They 
are pretty useful and I have um, videos in the future that, that I intend to um, post with um, more about these these little circuits. So guys, thanks for watching and I shall see you next time.